Hello, today my topic is artificial intelligence, mind control, and all of those things that matter. Could your president be a Mr. Automatron? Could the FDIC regional director be a Mr. Automatron? Artificial intelligence. My name is Kurt Brown St. Rambone, former investigative journalist, USN quartermaster, which is a navigator, and uh, other jobs. And I was also a federal bank examiner or auditor for the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, a blood soaked agency, according to some. I say it could have been a Bobo doll who blew his brains out. FDIC Improvement Act, 1992, dead regional director, alleged suicide in San Francisco. My question is, was the artificial intelligence? When I was terminated in, 19, or in 2000 from the FDIC San Francisco, I never heard his replacement, the replacement from the boss in 92. I mean, I never saw him. I heard him, but I never saw him. And that's interesting because just recently I was in a Denny's restaurant and uh, as I ate my breakfast, there were two people who, were, who had been sitting there when I got there and it turned out they were automatrons. It was some sort of guy making a movie or some, some sort and uh, or a running test or whatever. But I looked over to the left and I thought I saw the guy was controlling it. It made me think of my former shipmate in the U.S. Navy who was a fire control technician. He said he wanted to go into artificial intelligence. He handled the electronics on missiles. And uh, he also told me a nuclear bomb had gone off in 1983 whenever I came back to the Lone Beach Naval Station Terminal Island on a Monday. He was being escorted across the base. That's that fire control technician from Wisconsin, also missile control. As I was leaving the base on the ship, we were leaving Long Beach Naval Station Inlet, I saw someone on the shore appear to get shot. It looked like they were waving at me, and then someone shot him with a rifle. This has been 32 years ago, and I've been, uh, uh, I think, uh, witness to a lot of stuff, including later and especially later when I was uh, witness to a nuclear uh, incident at sea where I was exposed. The government's trying to deny this. I also had a stroke at that time. I didn't know it. Uh, all I knew was I was getting nosebleeds and severe headaches and uh, um, also dizziness and falling and that sort of thing. Uh, the government doesn't take care of you in the military. If you're not bleeding out the head, they won't pick you up and say what's wrong. You gotta know. So if you get hit in the head, how would you know in Psychops? Which brings up a good point. At that time, I think it was uh, equipment that was placed on our ship and exterior to ours. In the modern world, I believe Psychops can be done from space. And I had been told or I overheard that large orders of plastics had been ordered. An inordinate amount that was driving the materials for plastics uh, manufacturing up, way up. Now, if you had a bunch of plastic automatrons who were like human beings, you got to watch out who you exchange spit with. And uh, you got to watch out who you allow to be hired in a government agency such as high, top regional directors or top corporate executives because they can be uh, killed and the money taken, anything they put in pockets. This is Kurt Brown, also known as St. Rambone, witnessing Theta, or the center of the Milky Way galaxy, 2.6 years or 2.5 years after the center I see we're still having uh, we still having extreme heat. Uh, with I understand the uh, Seattle swamps are drying up. Uh, we're in that area, which is very weird, very weird indeed. Artificial intelligence, lots of plastics. Who's running the show, Mr. Bobo? This is Kurt Brown, St. Rambone, Mobile Audit Club.
publications. I like to invent things. 7.66 years between Castle Bravo shot and Zara Bamba. Sounds like a circuit, a coil, or something. Uh, fits with the Betts equation at 0.66. A1 over S. A1 over. Some people think that's steak. Have a good day, and if you want to be free, don't go to California. Where can you be free? Out of space. They aren't letting us go there. We're prisoners on planet Earth with Bobo dolls and extraordinary plastics. <laughs>